Hey, it's Punky J. What's going on, guys? So, basically, um, it's this. The new Ghostbusters movie <laughs> did not suck. Now, was it a 10 out of 10? No, of course not. Most movies these days in Hollywood, uh, it's hard to find a 10 out of 10 movie. But I just want to defend this movie, and I just want to... Um, <laughs> You suedo intellectual motherfuckers, you 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 guys are hilarious. You know nothing about what goes on in Hollywood, and calling this an SJW movie, you're so ignorant. You, my friend, are so wholeheartedly ignorant. If you knew anything about the industry, you you would know they've been feeding the feminist agenda for a very long time now. And just because they made women the main characters doesn't mean it's an SJW movie. <clears throat> all movies have this. All, they all incorporate it. Uh, again, it's just, it's worldwide ignorance. People like to follow the bandwagon, you know. If it's popular to say something sucks, then everyone is going to say, oh, this sucks, you know, even without watching it. But, guys, listen to me, okay? The movie wasn't bad. Uh, the CGI, I don't get why people complain about You know, people complained about it in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they complained about it in um, just plenty of other shit. It's like, guys, we're in 2016 now, okay? We're not in the 90s anymore. We have new technology. And I don't, I don't know why people are so against it. It's just, it baffles my mind. James Ralph, I love the guy, angry video game nerd. But he's a fucking dumb shit. And um, I, I can't stand people like him and Nostalgia Critic, you know, when they review stuff. They're like little man-children, and it's just so pathetic. Millennials, us millennials, we're a pathetic race. Um, spineless cowards, babies that like to cry and whine. You know, it, it's just, I'm so ashamed to be a millennial, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, so I think most of you guys know the plot of Ghostbusters, well, it's basically just a remake of the first one. Um, they add in, though, a few new things, which is kind of cool. Uh, Slimer's in it, and he looks fucking awesome, you know? I just, I don't get why people didn't like that. Um, you know, it, they all did a good job. Like, I just gotta be real. Even though I wasn't crazy about the all-girl cast, I mean, even though I wish it would have been the original, you know? But, um, that they did a good job. I mean, I love Alyssa McCartney. She's fucking hilarious. Like, and Tammy, that movie was fucking awesome. Um, she's just, she's a really funny chick. And um, Black Chick, her name escapes me. You guys have to forgive me. She's really f funny as well. She did a great job in the movie. Uh, I don't know why people bitched about her. Uh, you know, it seems like they bitched a lot about the Black Chick, you know. <laughs> and a few others but you know they, they all did a great job they really did and uh, it's worth seeing okay it may not be a 10 out of 10 movie but it's still worth seeing I've learned to just get used to all the you know feminist crap and others you know uh, bullshit that they have in Hollywood these days see people who call this an SJW they know nothing about the industry guys uh, Hollywood is a very corrupt industry. On um, the words of one of my favorite actors, Corey Feldman, uh, it's full of pedophiles. It's disgusting, run down. It will destroy your soul. Uh, a lot of people who, you know, become Hollywood famous actors, they end up just destroying their soul and either dying or just becoming some sad, jaded, lifeless form of a man. But anyways, um, yeah, it's. It's run by the Illuminati, and, and they pretty much call the shots, you know. Jews run Hollywood. Uh, that's just how it's always been. That's why Adam Sandler is still famous. It's because he's a Jew. So there you guys go. That's one reason why he is. But anyways, guys, um, uh, this is Punky J. Thanks for watching my review. Give the new Ghostbusters a try. I mean, again, nothing beats the original, okay? I can attest to that. I'm a child of the 90s, and I know it's an 80s movie, but I'm all about the old school, too. So don't think that I'm just kissing ass to, you know, the new school. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.